أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Son Excellence His Excellency Captain Ibrahim Traoré President of Faso and Head of State His Excellency Captain Ibrahim Traoré President of Faso and Head of State his Excellency Colonel Asimi Goita, President of the Transition and Head of State of the Republic of Mali. Mr. Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, members of the delegations of Burkina Faso and Mali. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the National Council for the Safeguarding of the Fatherland and the Government. Mr. Governor of the Niamey Region, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, heads of diplomatic missions and representatives of international organizations, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor for me to extend a warm welcome to you in the Sahelian land of Niger. The event that brings us together is solemn and historic. As it constitutes an important step in consolidating the age-old, geographical and cultural ties that unite our peoples. The summit that is the subject of our reunion today is the culmination of our fierce common desire to regain our national sovereignty and rehabilitate our legendary dignity. It is in line with the adoption on September 16, 2023, of the Charter establishing the Alliance of Sahel States. Ladies and gentlemen, the formal approval of the treaty establishing the Confederation of the Alliance of Sahel States, that is the AES is thus the culmination of the aspirations of our populations to seal on the foundation of our common destiny, in writing. Indeed, the formation of the Alliance of Sahel States has already made it possible to build around Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger, a solid coalition, based on a common defense architecture and the pooling of resources fueled by a fusional solidarity, like that demonstrated by the authorities and peoples of Burkina and Mali against armed aggression projected by ECOWAS against Niger à l'image de celles manifestées par les autorités et les peuples du Burkina et du Mali. Agression armée projetée par la CDAO contre le Niger. The formation of this front has dissuaded the desire to destabilize our country, and I would like to reiterate my feeling of deep gratitude to my brothers Ibrahim Traoré and Asimi Goita for this clear proof of active solidarity. My country pays you a vibrant tribute for this position. Today, this front constitutes the bulwark against which any plan of aggression against the Confederation of the Alliance of Sahel States will crash. In this regard, I am pleased to note that the defense and security component of the Alliance of Sahel States is already making significant progress with the establishment of the Joint Force of the Sahel States. Moreover, in the theater of operations, 
Our armies are conducting successful joint operations in Liptako Gorma. Mr. President Goita and Traore, the Alliance of Sahel States Confederation will therefore be built on a substrate that ensures the protection of populations against any threat of aggression, rebellion, armed banditry or any hostile act coming from outside. I remain convinced that in the current geopolitical context, the Alliance of Sahel States constitutes the only efficient sub-regional grouping in the field of the fight against terrorism, ECOWAS having shone by its lack of involvement in this fight. As a result, the Alliance of Sahel States alone allows us to face terrorist threats as no other regional or international structure has done before. Dear fellow heads of state, while consolidating this strategic task, it is necessary in the current geopolitical context to coordinate our diplomatic actions, both bilaterally and within multilateral organizations, and harmonize our foreign policies to best guarantee the interests of our Alliance of Sahel States Confederation in the international arena. Significant diplomatic successes have already been recorded, as evidenced by the strong return of our states to the international stage, with the resumption of cooperation with bilateral and multilateral partners, as well as the conclusion of new strategic partnerships. Concerning the development axis, it is urgent to create the conditions for genuine food security in the countries of the Alliance and to set up the economic, financial and monetary system necessary for financing development and productive investment in the space of the states of the Alliance. The economic fate of our states also lies in industrialization, with a view to the on-site transformation of our products and our wealth in natural resources. Similarly, the solidity of our confederation is based on our capacity to establish roads, airlines, railway networks as well as structuring projects in the field of agri-food, extractive industries and energy. In this march, our populations are the heads of the states. This is evidenced by the enthusiasm generated every day by the Alliance of the Sahel States among our youth and our women, because this popular momentum constitutes the best guarantee of building a confederation of people and not a bureaucratic edifice. Dear fellow heads of state, our deliberations will certainly make it possible to adopt the legal and institutional framework to give substance and identity to the Alliance of Sahel States Confederation. Our peoples have irrevocably turned their backs on ECOWAS. It is up to us today to create the Confederation of the Alliance of the Sahel States. An alternative to any fictitious regional grouping, by building a sovereign community of peoples.
A community far from the control of foreign powers, a community of peace, solidarity, and prosperity based on our African values. The senior officials and foreign ministers having finalized and adopted the draft treaty, it is with honor as president that I mark my solemn agreement to the creation of the Confederation of the Alliance of Sahel States. I also approve the draft internal regulations of the College of Heads of State of the Alliance of Sahel States Confederation. Niger, through my voice, undertakes to work tirelessly for the smooth running of our confederation. It is on these notes of commitment and hope that I declare open the first summit of heads of state of the Alliance of Sahel States. Long live the Alliance of Sahel States, long live a liberated Africa, I thank you.